was the top of the News Channel 5 studios there. We were seeing there right from Skycam. Yeah. Uh, a little overcast today. Big change in temperatures, though, especially from yesterday. 93 yesterday, but today we are not getting out of the mid-70s. So some folks, about a 20-degree swing. Uh, this is a morning, though, that uh, for all of you still at home, maybe having that cup of coffee, got back in bed watching us, a little jealous right now because <laughs> it's tough to get up this morning with the sound of rain falling for some, the clouds continuing to linger for others, and that will be the story for much of your Sunday. Here's a look outside right now from the Power of Five radars. We are in the 60s, 68 Nashville, 65 over in Parsons, 66 in Jackson, Savannah, even down towards Corinth, Mississippi, and 60s in southern Kentucky. Uh, the rainfall as we look at a one-hour loop on the Power of Five, it's pretty much contained along and north of Interstate 40. And it's a steady rain that continues to fall from Birdstown towards Powersburg in Kentucky, Livingston, Tennessee. Uh, just a steady, light uh, little drizzle in some areas. The same over Nashville right now towards Springfield, Clarksville. You get the picture. If you're along in north of 40, you've been seeing the rain. A little bit more widespread as you go towards southwest Tennessee. And this will be the case off and on throughout the day. Just these scattered showers and the occasional rumble of thunder. We're looking at an unsettled pattern this week, though. The front that's causing this is going to hang out. So from now until 10 o'clock Thursday night, models are anywhere from about an inch to, in some cases, going extreme, over five inches of rain. Again, this is from now until Thursday. We'll likely change these numbers a bit here and there, but bottom line, it's going to be a soggy week as this front stalls out. So here's exact track, and by midday with the front overhead, the clouds overhead, some scattered showers, even a rumble of two of thunder possible, and then we continue towards tonight. Same story, clouds lingering, moisture coming in from the south overnight, so third shift workers, 4 a.m., that's when News Channel 5 this morning will begin on Monday. We'll have the showers and storms around still with us for the morning commute. So plan a little extra time for your Monday morning for some scattered showers as that will linger through much of the day and take you into Monday afternoon and even Monday evening. And again, this front just stalling out. So this is with us throughout a good chunk of the upcoming week. 65 right now in Dixon as the rain fell overnight since midnight, almost a half an inch of rain. Nashville Shores. Yesterday, that was a great place to beat the heat. Today, mid-70s, rain chances around. we got to watch for some lightning over three-tenths of an inch of rain since midnight from National Shores. And at First Horizon Park, the tarp is out. The rain suspended the game last night. They are supposed to start what will be kind of a doubleheader today, finish yesterday's game, then the next game. But we got to watch for rain and thunderstorm chances today. The uh, first game is set to start at 105, so we'll keep an eye on that and definitely uh, Download that free Storm Shield app if you plan to head to the Sounds game today. 70s the next couple of days. Then we're into the 80s, but an unsettled pattern. We finally quiet down, though, heading into next weekend, which is the holiday weekend. Hey, uh, Weather Wednesday, we do it the third Wednesday of every month at Vandy Children's. And when the pandemic began, we expanded it and we broadcast to Children's Healthcare Atlanta. So both here at Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital and broadcasting in Atlanta at Children's Healthcare. And this is Ivan, and Ivan is today's weather artist. He drew a picture of a thunderstorm that he sent up to share. And I'll tell you, I agree with Ivan. He said the world is sad when you got thunderstorms because you can't go outside and play. And that is fitting for the uh, forecast we have today, Jennifer, with some scattered thunderstorm chances around. But again, Ivan, our friend from Children's Healthcare Atlanta, and they are able to watch on newschannel5.com as well. Always love doing Weather Wednesday, that third Wednesday of the month.